Hey, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this simple eye rig in Blender 2.83. I have actually made a video about this in one of my older videos, but I'm updating this for Blender 2.83. So what we have here is a very simple rig. We can see this is a head bone. I'm going to be showing you how to set up these little eye controllers. And this rig can pretty much do two things. You can grab the main controller here, which moves both the eyes, or you can grab any one of these individual um, controls and control an eye individually or both at the same time. So it's a useful little rig. You can use it for a lot of different things. Um, I'm not gonna be showing how to model the eyes. Um, so just go ahead, make two little spheres. Just make them mirror each other. It's quite simple. And let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so with some eyeballs in a scene here, I've just gone ahead and made these two eyeballs here just as an example. So you guys can follow this tutorial. Go ahead, get yourself some eyeballs or make some. One important thing, make sure if you do have eyeballs that so they're both exactly parallel to each other here. Um, if you do model them, try to use a mirror modifier. And it's important to make sure that the origin point for both the eyeballs is exactly in the center. So you can see this little orange dot on both of them is in the center. You can see both are in the center because the origin points that we're gonna be using in this tutorial to make things a bit easier. To have that done, making sure our cursor is in the center, we're gonna go Shift A, Armature, and we're gonna add an armature here. And because my bone is quite small compared to my eyeballs, I'm just gonna go into edit mode and just grab this little nub at the top and make it look more to scale. So if we had a rig, this would be our head bone. So let's just go to our bones tab here, down here, and just call it head. So in our armature, this would be the head bone. And this is the bone that all of our little eye bones and controllers are gonna be parented to. So what we wanna do is just quickly go back into our object mode. We're gonna select our left eye here, and I know it's on the right side of the monitor, but from our perspective, this would be the left side. So make sure you go ahead, select this left eye, and then you're gonna go Shift S, and we're gonna make that cursor there go to the active. So go cursor to active, and our cursor is no longer in the world origins, but on the pivot point of this object here. So if I rotated this, you can see the, the the cursor is in the center of the origin. Grab our rig, go to edit mode. And what I like to do is go into my wireframe mode so I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna go Shift A to add in a new bone in our edit mode. And then what I'm gonna do is go back into object mode. I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna go again, Shift S. And I go cursor to active. And now our cursor is in the center of this guy's origin. So I grab the rig again. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, go to object mode, and then go Shift A. So now we have these two eye bones that have been placed perfectly in the center of our eyes. What we can do is grab both of them, holding in Shift, and still holding in Shift, select this head bone, and then go Control P, make parent, and keep offset. Really good. With our um, cursor being here, let's just bring it back to the center. So go Shift S, and then just go um, cursor to world origin. So now our cursor is back in the world origin. We're gonna select both of these eye bones here, holding in shift, go to the right orthographic view, and then go R minus nine zero and hit enter. Okay, just undo that. I made a mistake. What you wanna do first with, with both of them selected and the cursor in the world origin, click on this pivoting option here. And we're gonna make this 3D cursor. So if we go to our right orthographic view now, and our cursor there in the center, we're gonna go R minus nine zero and hit enter. And now they've rotated perfectly along that origin point there. We can go over here and just set this back to individual origin so we don't need it anymore. And let's go back to our solid. So we now have our two eye bones. So I'm gonna just call this guy over here by selecting it. I'm gonna rename it and call it i.l, hit enter. And I'm gonna grab this guy here and I'm gonna name it i.r. And whenever we're doing rigging, it's a really good habit to name things so you can keep track of things and keep the scene organized um, as it can get quite hectic, especially of rigging. So go ahead, name those two. Then holding a shift, select both of them. And we're gonna go shift D and then Y, move these bones forward. And then what we're gonna do is grab this guy, shift D, Y and move it forward. Grab this little nub, G, set, and bring it down. Grab both of these guys holding in shift, and then selecting this guy lastly, it's the last bone while you're holding in shift, is go control P, make parent, and keep the offset. 
So what we have now is both of these guys are parented to this one. So I select this guy here, the main controller, holding a shift, select the head bone, and then go control P and keep offset. So this is our parenting structure. Both these guys are parented to this one, and this guy is parented to the main head bone here, and both these little controllers are parented to the main controller here. So let's just quickly name these guys as well. So I'm gonna grab this left one. I'm gonna name it I look at dot L. Then I'm just gonna copy this, control C, select this guy here, and then come in here and control V, and just backspace and make that an R. So now they're both named, and we're gonna grab this one in the middle, and we're just gonna call it main icon for I controller. So we can now get into our constraints. So let's go out of edit mode and go to our pose mode. And all we simply have to do is first of all, select this guy here, the left eye look at, holding in shift, select this guy over here, and then go control shift C. And we're gonna add a constraint called a track two. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing here. Hold it, grab this guy here, holding in shift, select the right eye bone. And then we're gonna go control shift C and we're gonna go track two. And now if we grab this main control bone here, what we're gonna see is if we move it by hitting G, both of these eye bones are now pointing towards this main controller. And if I wanted to, I could also control them one individually. So this is a very useful rig for eyes. So I'm just gonna undo all of that. So we now have our constraints set up. What we now need to do is just simply parent our eyeballs to the rig. So what we're gonna do is go back into object mode I'm gonna select the left eye first, then holding in shift, I'm gonna select the rig. Then I'm gonna go into pose mode. This guy is now orange selected. I'm gonna still holding in shift, select this um, bone here, I.L. And then I'm gonna go control P and I'm gonna set parent to bone. Then I'm gonna go back to my object mode, select this guy now, holding in shift, select the rig, go to my pose mode and then select this guy now, the iBone.R, and then I'm gonna go Control P, and I'm gonna set the parent to bone. So if we now just go out of here, to A to deselect everything, double tap A, just grab our rig, go into pose mode, and now if we grab this main control bone, we can see both our eyes are following, and we also have the option to control each eyeball individually with these little controllers like that. So just hit A to select everything if you've moved it, then go Alt G, Alt R, Alt S, just to unset the rotation scale and location. And here is our rig, it's completely done. Um, what you can do to, if you want a less cluttered scene, what you can do is just select this guy, then go Control I to inverse the selection, select all the other bones, then you can hit M and just move them to the second layer. And that's convenient because what we can do now is instead of having all this clutter in our scene, we can hit G and just have this one simple little control bone that does it all for us. And if you go here to your, your layers tab, you can click on this armature and you can see under the skeleton, you can hold and shift and just bring that layer back again if you want. So here you have it. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I hope you can make something awesome with it. I know it's been quite useful to me in, in a lot of my projects. Um, I'll see you guys for another tutorial. If you have any questions, ask below, check me out on Instagram and subscribe.